Stickers are some of the rarest items in all of Bee Swarm Simulator. I'm sure you guys are dying to get them so you can get that coveted Star of Cub Buddy. The only problem is in order to get it, you need 12 of these insanely rare star signs, which is why in this video, I'll be showing you guys the fastest methods to be farming them. So without any further ado, here we go. All right, now starting off, there are a couple reliable methods to farm the star signs. Now, of course, we can start off with method number one, which is the most obvious. It's going to be the sticker printer itself. Now, if you want to donate stuff to get your star signs, there's a few eggs in specific. And one thing I've actually found interesting is gifted silver eggs, which if you didn't know, have a nearly identical chance of getting a star sign as if you donated a gifted mythic egg. Silver eggs have a 26% chance to give you a star sign, and mythic eggs actually have a 31% chance. So when it comes down to it, rather than donate a gifted diamond egg or a gifted gold egg, in order to maximize your chances of getting a star sign, you actually want to donate either a gifted silver egg or a gifted mythic egg. Now, it's not to say the other ones don't work as well. Of course, donating a gifted silver egg, diamond egg, all of these, basically all of the gifted eggs will at least have a good chance of getting you a star sign. For the highest chance of getting a star sign, you actually want to donate a star egg. The only problem is these are like the rarest egg, but they do have like a 36% chance to give you a star sign, which is pretty nice. But yeah, only the gifted eggs will give them to you. But moving on to method number two. Now, while you might think method number two is just to get them the intended way, which if you didn't know is to basically fulfill these insanely rare odds at certain times in the year. No, this is not what you want to do, okay? There's no real way to farm the star signs like this. Like, you can chase fireflies or mythic meteors or star jellies. Like, you can do these passively, but like, when it comes to farming star signs, this isn't really the route you want to take. It's just such an insanely low chance to the point where it's not worth it. So if you actually want a good way to farm these star signs, you'd want to head to the trading hub. So next up, aside from the sticker machine, the best way to get star signs would be from trading. Now, while you can go and like discord trading servers and find people that are willing to trade star signs a really good way is just to find noobs that have star signs on their hives and then just offer for them now no i'm not saying scam the noobs of their star signs and give insanely low offers no please don't scam the noobs what i'm saying is the noobs will probably give you a better offer than all the pros because all of the pros are dying to get star signs and they will only take overpriced offers whereas the noobs will probably just be like oh yeah i guess if you can offer me a few cool stickers i'll give you the star sign now when it comes to sticker sprouts as you can see right here can they give star signs no they cannot i'm not kidding these things will give a lot of stickers but they will not give star signs all right they are that rare so honestly it really does all just come down to the sticker machine you want to donate your eggs and if you get a star sign cool but if you don't get a star sign then you can trade what you got instead for a star sign it's basically just rinse and repeat donate every hour take what you get trade it for star signs and within no time you will have yourself a star cub buddy and i say it like it's easy trust me it's not i would know because i did it also we're so close to 50,000 subscribers i have a really cool video plan for when we hit it so if you'd like to help me reach my new year's resolution of hitting 75,000 subscribers this year it'd mean a lot if we could just hit 50,000 by the end of this week so thank you so much for watching i will definitely see you guys in the next video and uh, yeah that's about it